Your parents must be ashamed of you. What? I don't want to be a model. I don't. I can't. And it's so, oh, it's so relevant. Today, I'm taking a look at Elise's controversial rant from season one of America's Next Top Model. I'm going to take a look at the runway challenge and then her rant right afterwards. It's pretty bad. She's she's not happy with the girls. So uh, let's take a look, shall we? Hey, I'm good. How are you? It's obvious what we're doing today, right? No. Yes, runway. Runway, catwalk. Every model has their own personal style. And this That's is the true. last example of my personal style right here. Wow. I mean, look, you can't deny she's fabulous in these. She looks good. What can I say? That's Love my the bangs. style, but that's mine. And you guys need to find yours. I know Robin on your audition, you kind of did my thing, and that's fun. But then put Robin in it and find, you know, oh, that's you. no, I'm no, Robin, that's not okay. That you, you, she's like, well, I know that you did my thing, Robin. I, I would be on high alert if I were Robin right now because Tyra, when she says, but that's fine, it's not. Then you know it's not fine. But then put Robin in it and find, you know, what's you. I'm going to give you runway don'ts. Now, this is a girl who can't walk in heels. That's me. Yeah. The girl that thinks that she's sexy, but she ain't. <laughs> this next one is what I don't even try. church fashion show. Church fashion show. Well, yeah. <laughs> All right. I have the one and the only top runway trainer. I have known him since I was 17 years old. His name is Jay Alexander. Come out here, Jay. These girls are extremely lucky to have Jay, the diva extraordinaire. He's worked with almost every top model there is in this industry. One at a time, walk down and walk back for me, please. Okay, very respectable. Runway is like silent theater. It is the one time that people get to see you moving. It's extremely important to know how to wow that crowd. Wow them. Oh. oh. She's, she's fired, yeah, eliminated. So bad. Most of you are walking almost too tight in the booty, like this. <laughs> too tight in the booty. <laughs> that's how, that's how, I know, I think my sister walks walking like that. Like, like this. Keep yeah. your eyes looking straight ahead. I should take Sound notes. What music, was that? Back and forth, and I'm okay. gonna start making some corrections. All right. I mean, I am picking up some good. I mean, when I'm out doing photo shoots, I'm I'm walking like a gremlin. I'm just trying to get the next shot, so I'm not really thinking about being tight in the booty. <laughs> so, I think that right now, I think anyone watching this, get your notebook out. I want you all to take notes right now, so we can improve our walks. I mean, maybe we take some. Maybe we learn, take away something from this, <laughs> as non models. That's that's good. That's a good walk. It's a quiet confidence. She wasn't sure about the walk, but it's just a quiet confidence. Miss Robin is the plus size. Why do they she always have to say that? Her end of the day. Why every every time Robin comes on screen? Oh, um, that's the plus plus size. She's plus size. Actually, do you know? Just just random random. Um, yes. Thank you for asking me how my family is doing. But did you know Robin's plus size? It's like it's like a theme. Every every model on the show gets a like a character and she's just the plus size girl for some and maybe something else. Maybe religion they bring up the religion a lot for her and Shannon. So it's like, do we have to bring it up every two minutes? Miss Robin is the plus size. She'll be great in her end of the business. The plus size. Adrian has the Her I love how he also says her end of the business. It's like a totally different. It's like, well, whatever business she's in, in that corner of the business for the plus for the plus size models. Adrian has the right elements. Watch a fancy footwork. She's taken in very, very quickly. Shannon, pretty face, something very commercial about her walk. Did you dance before? Yeah. Dancers are always quite difficult to break in because it's this. <laughs> I would enjoy that on the runway, Jessie, I'm just saying, as a viewer. Take the center. Relax, just relax, just so you don't stiff. Ebony's trying to stand out, and she already stands out. Walk was a bit uptight, but I'm trying to break her in. 
I love runway. Like, it's a whole different way to kind of express yourself. Some girls don't have naturally, and they think that I have that natural walk. Katie, she's into it. I mean, very like, it's all about me. I've already been to the level than you have. But from a walk? walk needs help. Her walk, her walk needs the help. Girl, for me, that as what it takes. When I look at Elise, I think and the body's right for clothes. This guy knows what he's talking about. He's the diva of divas. That man blew me away. My motto is walk like it's for sale and the rent is due tonight. I'm going to show you how to walk in a tight What? Walk like it's for sale and the rent is due tonight. Sir, this is a McDonald's. <laughs> Let me let me bestow some of my wisdom upon like upon if, if if I was here what would I say what do I say dance like no one's watching I don't even know actually I would not say that don't care about anything <laughs> always carry bear spray you never know when you're gonna run I personally I love bears I don't want to spray them in the face another piece of advice is the chocolate in Europe and Australia is not the same chocolate in the United States you guys I ate I bought crispy M and M's in Australia I love Australians but you guys. You guys are being lied to. It's not the same. It's not the same recipe. That's a personal problem of mine. It's not even advice. But don't ask to be invited anywhere. If you they don't offer, don't even bring it up. Don't invite yourself. Just don't. Even, if they don't say, hey, you should come. Don't even. Don't go there. That's it. I'm gonna show you how to walk in a tight skirt. Not really a tight skirt though. It's a little flowy. Jay walked out a little black. That's not a tight underwear. skirt. That's like a t-shirt dress. He's like, I'm going to show you how to do this in a particular garment. And then he just, it's like a flowy, silky, flowing in the wind. <laughs> but we're learning. We are learning. Who's writing? Who's, who has the notebooks though? No one? No one. Jay walked out in a little black like underwear or something in high heels. Jay's legs look a lot better than mine do. So yeah, he's got some pretty sexy legs. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it was shocking to me seeing him in those heels. If he can walk in those pumps, I know I can. You need to pair high heels, because that may change the way you walk as well. Yeah. Walking down the runway with Jay next to me is difficult because it seems like most of the information that we get from him is in the facial expressions, which we can't see when we're staring straight forward. There yeah. is no hope for me on the runway. What do you want to do after this? I definitely Maybe want to eat? Restaurant? Oh, really oh. <laughs> Oh, you're talking about in the future. Okay. Chipotle, probably. I definitely want to pursue acting, and I really want to do TV. I um, sing. Um, I also do, um, I'm also a comedian. If I don't win this contest, start medical school in August. Okay. That's a lot of work. Oh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Friends, Every Elise, I love her, but she, her dream is to become a doctor. Uh, and it's like well, to to be fair she said if i don't win this i want to be a doctor which a lot of i i would suggest that you do have something on the side with, with whatever you do like models especially a lot of them do have side things that i've spoken to some are going to school for something some are pursuing another career or doing clothing or something so it's always good to have something on the side or want to pursue something nothing wrong with that boyfriend's a doctor Elise, I love her, but she, her dream is to become a doctor. And it's like, well, why are you here? That really, really pisses me off. Okay, girls. She remember, said if I don't... Table at home. Giselle. Giselle Habibta, she said if I don't win this contest. I love how that's like a terrible thing. A doctor? A doctor? You, you're gonna save lives? Gonna, what are you gonna do? Give medical advice? Gonna sit, just be in a hospital? Next thing you know, she's gonna want to perform surgery. Like, what's, go what's going on here? I don't understand. Like, we literally, she, we literally just walked in heels down a patch of carpet, and now, and now you're saying, doctor. <laughs> I'm not really understand. I don't think I'm really understanding like where this is coming. from. just so out of the blue. Oh, that was attractive. <laughs> what did you guys think about how you did today? We all need a little something to work on. Yeah, you were, you were the only person he didn't give yeah. any, nothing. nothing. Yeah. I think I performed really, really poorly, and I'm not used to being incapable at anything. You're not gonna stop and kick it out and stop That's what you're doing right now. Yeah, I know, but I'll try to do Relax, remember? That's it. Relax. Thank you. I do not have the will to walk in the catwalk like I give it to him. Holy, I don't want to be a model. I don't. I can't. 
And it's so, oh, it's so relevant. Oh. Eliminate me. Do it. Oh. Okay. Um, why be on a show? Why put yourself through this if you don't want to be a model? Maybe she enjoyed it in the beginning, like the first, the, okay, this is episode two, never mind. I was like, maybe, you know, eight episodes in, she started to not like it and it's not for her, but this is literally episode two. Because Elise wants to be eliminated, she's not going to get eliminated. That's how the show works. It's like, they're like, oh, she doesn't want to be here. Okay, definitely. We're going to keep her, keep her until the very end. Yeah, maybe she'll win. Maybe we'll just make her win the competition. Why not? The winner of America's Next Top Model. So Elise doesn't care about being a model, doesn't want to be a model. And here we are. She's on the modeling show. But she's she can leave at any point if she really doesn't like it. Okay, girls, I have a little surprise for you. There's going to be a little challenge, and it's going to be called Extreme Runway. So right now we're going to do a mock fashion show. Backstage is a bag of clothing with the name on it. You have three different changes. What I want you to do, walk straight out one behind another. Every 10, 20 seconds, another girl. Straight down to run and come back. You will be evaluated on the things that you've learned. The next scene, the girls have a surprise extreme runway challenge. They have a bag of clothes. They have three outfit changes. And the person with the best walk wins. Um, like they get to go to a recording studio with a big artist and other things, I guess. Uh, it's not money, so I don't remember much of it. But so it's a, it's a fake fashion show. Let's see who the winner is. And remember, this is a competition. Girls, first outfits, please. Girls, hurry up. Backstage, there's You don't need to record this. I think there's every girl for herself. What's front, what's back? I don't know, just stick them on and go. Let's go. Giselle, I need you now. When the girl takes off, the next girl goes right up and takes that position. You gotta come now. Hurry up. Next. When we were backstage, I took my stuff off. I was buck naked. I had to get into my clothes and I had to do it in 30 seconds. I was trying to concentrate on getting my stuff together, putting my clothes on. So this I tried my best. Very unorganized. Great. It's like they, this just seems like chaos. At, you know, I don't know too much about runway modeling. But I feel I feel like I've seen enough backstage runway stuff where they they have people helping the girls into the clothes or they at the very least they have a like just a clothes hanger with the girls stuff, not like in a bag tossed crumpled up and they have to figure out the outfits. So I feel like it's they could have organized it a little better. <laughs> Rather, like, there's clothes everywhere. How do you know which, what's even yours? At this point, like, I would just grab anything at that point. Like, the freaking, the guy who set up the lights, his uh, jacket. Like, oh, hi. Thank you, uh, John. I'm just going to, if you don't mind, I don't want to get eliminated. Uh, my red shirt that I was supposed to keep open, which if you just walk, it'll just show the whole world everything. And I feel comfortable with that. Look at, in the, you see, like, this, the screen in the back. It shows all the girls. Just like frantically throwing on clothes and stuff. The hardest thing was getting ready like really, really fast. I think with Robin, she's used to checking herself out in the mirror, which made her late. Hurry up! Look at everyone's getting ready in the. <laughs> There's like this silhouette of people getting ready. <laughs> Oh my god. So is this really about the runway walk or is it about just like let's see what these girls are going to come up with. Are they going to be able to be clothed coming on this runway? actually nice on you <laughs> it actually looks it's, it's that's really so cute you. frankly this dress is hideous and i am so glad that i don't own it and that is very you oh, oh my god <laughs> oh my god he's like that is gorgeous on you you look stunning she's like this is disgusting i'm so glad i don't own this dress <laughs> oh my god where did they get elise from i swear to 
She's like, this is hideous. <laughs> the cutscene. The cutscene to her. <laughs> Pocahontas meets Playboy. Shoo. <laughs> What the hell's going on here? <laughs> it actually looks, it's, it's so you. It's so Frankly, you. This dress is hideous, and I am so glad that I don't own it. And that is very you. Yeah. Pocahontas meets Playboy. It's right there, baby cakes. Pocahontas meets Playboy. Because you were late. You're smiling, but you know that you were late most of the time. And at least you missed your shoe or something was wrong with your shoe. Most of the tasks that we had to do do not rely at all on intelligence. And being smarter than the other girls doesn't give me any advantage. Miss Robin, check it in the mirror. Well, I wasn't looking in the mirror that made me late. It was an outfit change. But it still didn't make a difference. I was still late. Uh, <laughs> I love her. So she's like, it's still, I was still late no matter what. <laughs> Might as well check in the mirror and make sure I look good while I'm late. Right? Uh, Shannon, you supposed to leave the shirt open, but you came with it buttoned. I didn't feel comfortable with it open. You didn't feel comfortable walking with it open, but there was a way that you could have walked with it. You could have walked like this. Why now do you, know you want? Now. You could have walked like this. I've learned a lot from him, but I still need to learn more to become a better model. You know what and I realize? He... Shannon's the more conservative model on the show due to her, but maybe that she's just not comfortable showing a lot of skin, doing, and then they come out with all these photo shoots and bikinis, and then she's the model who has to wear the top that's open. Coincidence? I think not. I just feel like they know what she's comfortable with, and they're constantly pushing the boundaries and seeing what they can get away with. Oh, let's give her a top that she needs to, she needs to have it open. What, it looks like a top that should be buttoned. Like, the top looked correct buttoned. I'm like, that's oh, that's a cute top. He's like, that should have been unbuttoned. I'm like, but but also, was, was it, was it though? Ebony, you were late. And you also came out early at one point. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't have waited. You no, came no, out so early. You don't have to give too much attitude. Just being so new and you that's saying, so okay, let me find my style. Let me find what I'm trying to express. I want to show that I'm capable. Giselle, very well, and worked an ugly 80s dress and made it look very, very modern. Good for you. Adrian, you did He has well, notes. Actually. Okay. Katie, you did well. But you have to also be less sex and more presence. You know what I mean? Just how you look. It's just, just how you oh. build. Just how she is. And okay. Nicole, you did well, too. So I need you to step forward, you to step forward, you to step forward, and you to step forward. OK. OK. All of them? All of them win. So the prize dollars? goes to Miss Giselle. Oh. I never win any. <laughs> well, it's the first time of everything. I was just in shock. I was like, uh, are you sure? I agree with Jay that Giselle did real good because she really doesn't have much self-confidence, like, at all. I don't want you to go alone so you get to oh. choose three friends. Oh. To go with you for that night okay. in the studio Thank with my cuff John. Jessica Cobasi. Here with me, you three. Oh, that's nice. I think Emmy took the runway show down a lot harder than most. Her jaw was clenched. She didn't say a word to anybody for for once. So anyway, girls, enough said. Have a wonderful time, you four, this evening. Okay, so the other girls didn't get chosen for the night on the town. I still want to hang out the window, yell at, at someone, and be like, hey, lady, ever get your ass licked by a fat man in an overcoat? <laughs> That's my favorite line ever from a movie. Jay and Son of Bob. Okay, Miss Elise doesn't want to talk. She's busy. Alienation from the other girls really affects my desire to be in the competition. I have to bring up the what I'm pointing at you. You guys, we have Italian dressing. What about ranch? What are we coming here for? Can I just smell it? Excuse me. Oh. Can I smell it? I know. Is this so bad? No, no. <laughs> I can see you as like a, a makeup model. Yeah. Really fresh, young, you know what I mean? Okay, yeah. okay, Tyra. Nice, like I really want to. There say. are. Tyra walks in, how only I can judge. Get your own style. I feel the same way, so like I really want to. There are the most vapid conversations you've ever experienced going on all around me all the time. I had no idea. Adrian, stop interrupting me. Stop quoting Jay and Silent Bob right next to my ear. I've had enough of you. Silent Bob. Robin, how dare you show me that? Foolish is the 
atheist Bible verse this morning and ask me, what do I think of it? What the f am I supposed to think of it? You know what I think of you? Foolish is a woman who believes that damn tripe. Giselle, you worthless You are so wasteful, bitchy, stupid. You're worthless. Your parents must be ashamed of you. What? Jay, Elise. you offended me today. I know that medical school is hard work. How could I possibly not be aware of that? It takes a ass to cover every seat, you slice. Katie, I don't what? believe a word that comes out of your mouth. You're the most insincere person I've ever met. Damn it, let me die. You bitches. Elise, um... <laughs> Okay, um, okay. Damn, okay. This is the second episode and she's feeling like this. I'm kind of in shock by how she spoke about the other girls. Just because you don't like someone's conversations, you think something's vapid, it may not be vapid to other people. They may, may have other interests. Doesn't mean that it's vapid or that it that they're not interesting people or they're not as smart as you. It just means they have different interests. It's that it's not serious enough for it to go this far. I don't know what happened, but whatever happened can't be this bad where she's snapping like this. There was never, I mean, it never got better. I'm like, okay, maybe she'll like, maybe she'll like say, uh, you know, thank you guys for inspiring me. No, nothing never came. <laughs> it only got worse. For her to say your parents must be ashamed of you. What did Giselle do? I don't understand. What did Giselle do that was so terrible? Because it was it because of the doctor thing? She's not happy about you being a doctor? Is that what it the medical school? <laughs> is it medical school? Because there's no reason for Elise to come this hard. They showed Giselle on the couch having a casual conversation like, Oh, how's the yeah, it's beautiful uh, weather today, right? We're hitting the mid seventies, eighties almost. And then it cuts to Elise. Your parents must be ashamed. And you you brought shame upon your family. And your ancestors. And your ancestors before you. I can only imagine what the girls' reactions were when they're watching the show back. They're like, you know, Elise was such a wonderful person. You know, just I had a good connection with her mom. You're going to love her. And then Elise is there. Um, she's like, Jessica Cobasi, you're wasteful. You're ugly. You're dumb. Most of all, you're, I'm way smarter than you. Um, did I say, I just said that she's ugly. What do you guys think of Elise's speech? Do you think that it was warranted? Do you think she took it too far? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.